All right, so we have our Ubuntu server uh, set up with a host name, a static IP address. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to be able to share um, certain folders with our Windows network. And by default, um, it, it can be really tricky. Uh, but there is uh, something called Samba or Samba that you can install and it'll allow your Linux server to easily communicate with your Windows machines. All right, so you'll be able to go to whatever network neighborhood and uh, your Linux server will show up and you'll be able to log in and create files, um, run files, whatever. All right, so the first thing we want to do is just install Samba. Okay, and we can do that if we do a, actually let's do a, uh, an apt-get update first just to make sure everything's up to date alright so what we want to do now is just um, install it so we'll say sudo apt-get install samba okay yes Alright, so now Samba is installed. Now we need to go to the configuration file. So we're going to say sudo nano etc slash samba slash smb dot conf. Okay, so this is the main configuration file for Samba. And there's just a lot of different things that you can configure from here. Um, and this is also where you're going to add your shares, uh, shares being files or folders that are shared with the rest of your network. All right, so the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go down here to this work group, and by default, it's work group. You want to change this to whatever your Windows work group is. All right, so let's just uh, let me show you where to get that. Um, now I don't have my computer, the my computer icon on my desktop here. But what you want to do is right click on computer or my computer, whatever it is, and go to properties, and it's going to bring up this page. And you can see that my computer name is Monster, and the work group I'm on is Brad's Network. All right, so this is what we want to put in there. Obviously, you'll put what whatever you want. Okay, so ads network all right and you can just scroll down and you can just look at some of the different options uh, support for wins um, networking debugging uh, there's all kinds of authentication rules you can set um, and then down here is where where it says share definitions is where you'll put your shares um, and this is basically what it'll look like the share name will be in um, brackets the comment will basically be the the human readable name um, you can set it if you want it to be browsable in Windows or not read only you can set file permissions um, there's a whole bunch of different settings and you can also share printers if you see down here we basically are going to share our printers all right and you can also specify guest OK for files and printers uh, which means that they'll be able to access without needing an account on the server. All right, so we're just going to leave it as is uh, just for now and do a control X and then Y to save. All right, and uh, to restart Samba, you want to say sudo restart smbd and also sudo restart nmbd. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is just add a user to Samba, which is fairly easy. We're just going to say sudo smb pass wd a and then the name of the user. Okay, and it's going to ask you for a new password. All right. 
uh, let me actually just restart Somber again. All right, now what I want to do is open up my network uh, in Windows. Okay, so if we go to network and let's go ahead and reload. All right, so you can see I have quite a few machines on the network, but right here is what we want to look at, test server. All right, so now we're seeing the Linux server in Windows. Okay, now the reason there's nothing here is we haven't created any shares yet. All right, so let's create a share. Um, we're in our home directory now, which if you installed Windows Server and not the, I'm sorry, Ubuntu Server and not the desktop, then you don't really have anything in here. Uh, but let's create a folder inside of our test server. Um, we'll uh, create a folder. So we'll use the um, make dir command. So we'll make a directory. And let's just call this shared. All right, now if we look, we have a folder called shared. Let's go into that folder with CD. All right, and we'll create a file here. Let's create a file using the cat command. And we'll say my file.txt. Uh, permission denied. We need to use sudo. Still permission denied. Um, Let's go back to the home directory and I just want to check out the permissions. Alright, so you can see that this shared folder, um, it's owned by, by the root user and it's in the root group. We want to change that, so I'm going to say chon and use the R option and we want to change it to the user Brad and the group Brad. Okay, and then the name of the folder, which is shared and we need to do a sudo as well okay so now if we look at it okay so now it's brad all right so let's go back into it and try to create that file all right so there's our file um, let's go ahead and see if we can edit this This is my file. Okay, we'll save that. All right, so obviously this isn't going to be shared yet. If we go back to Windows and reload, there's nothing there. We need to add it to our configuration file, our Samba configuration file. So we want to do sudo nano etc slash samba slash smb.conf and then go down, I'm going to go page down down to, I like to put my shares under the, uh, actually, yeah, under this last print. Actually, no, I'm going to go up a little bit. Yeah, right here. All right. So, we'll call this share. You can call it whatever you want. And comment. This is basically what it's going to show, what the share is going to be called. So I'm just going to leave shared. All right, next we want to put the path. Okay, so the path for this is home. Uh, yeah, home slash Brad slash shared. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to put path here. Path equals. All right, so we're going to say um, browsable yes read only no guest okay yes um, and I think that's really all we need oh writable writable equals yes 
All right, so let's um, exit this now, save it. And we want to restart Samba. Where is it? All right, so now let's go over to Windows. And now you can see we have a folder called Share. And there's our file. Okay, so we can easily um, share all your files on your server with all of your Windows clients. And we can edit this file if we want. Okay, I'll just save that. And we can edit the file name. All right, so we basically have full permission to do what we want with this share. And things can go wrong when you're dealing with Samba. That actually went really smooth, uh, but sometimes you have issues with permissions. Um, basically, you just want it. Um, you want to add your Samba user and um, make sure that that the files, that the folders you create belong to that user and are in that user's group. Uh, and you should be okay. And since we put guest okay equals yes, um, we don't need a password to, to go into this fold, into this share. All right, so that's how you can create a Samba server on your Ubuntu machine.